A time factor is paramount for all safety measures in tunnel work. The five-phase concept comprises prevention, monitoring, personal protection, technical facilities, rescue services. Prevention includes a traffic control system with information for tunnel users on specific hazards, such as maintenance work, contraflow traffic, and weather at the exit. Such information can be transmitted by radio, displayed on video walls, on information panels with changing text information, or pictograms. Speed limits and distances between vehicles can be monitored by radar. Heat sensors located in front of tunnel portals detect overheated vehicle components. Video monitoring systems with digital image analysis reveal hazardous situations within seconds in most cases. Fire monitors trigger an alarm, accurately locating the fire source. In the case of an alarm, the monitoring system sets off a series of measures automatically without waiting for someone at the central station to react. In the case of fire, access points are closed, lighting is intensified, fire condition ventilation is switched on, safety areas are illuminated with more intense light and ventilated. In such circumstances, information and instructions reach tunnel users through all communication channels. Evacuation routes and directions to safety areas are displayed on tunnel walls. Sound and video connections with safety areas provide communication with the central monitoring station. Special airlock doors are designed to withstand fire for at least four hours. Safety areas can also be connected to ventilation ducts under the roadway by stairs which can be used as escape routes. These escape routes are also illuminated. Smoke is extracted through vents in the tunnel roof. Firefighting water is supplied to sprinkler systems and hydrants spaced at short distances from their own reservoirs. The safety concept comprises rescue services capable of rapid response thanks to automatic alarm systems. The same safety concept also applies to metro and railway tunnels.